so today i'm going to talk about the intrinsic parity of negative and the positive ion so first of all let me consider the negative ion so for this consider a reaction consider a, a reaction that when pi negative interacts with the deuteron it gives us the two neutrons and here what is deuteron this d represents deuteron it is the bound state of proton and neutron it is the bound state of proton and neutron proton and neutron so for parity conservation conservation so parity of the negative ion into intrinsic parity of the deuteron into minus 1 raised to power l it is the orbital parity must be equal to intrinsic parity of neutron first and intrinsic parity of the another neutron and minus 1 raised to power l prime right so let us first talk about the l and the l prime so there is evidence that there is a evidence that evidence that pi negative is captured in is captured in l is equal to 0 orbital state right and for deuteron l is equal to 0 in singlet state these are the known states which are uh, known facts which I am using right so also the intrinsic parity of neutron and neutron is given by means intrinsic parity of neutron is plus one also the for neutron also having the same intrinsic parity so if I put all these values in equation 1, so if I put all these values in equation 1, then using equation 1, what we are getting? Eta P pi minus its intrinsic parity will be plus 1 into minus 1 raised to power 0 is equal to plus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 raised to power 1 right so because in the final state final state there are two fermions because neutrons are the fermions and for such a system the value of L will be 1 so I have used L prime is equal to 1 here sorry uh, so if I solve it then what we are getting eta p pi negative is equal to mm, minus 1 right so uh, thus intrinsic parity thus intrinsic parity of negative ion is 
minus 1. Also for the reaction also for the reaction means if I take a positive by you it interact with the neutron it gives us the two protons so for this case we can prove that the intrinsic parity of pi positive is also negative one also we have to remember in proving it that the intrinsic parity parity of proton is also plus one this we have to keep in mind so thus we have shown in this lecture that both positive and negative ions having minus one as a intrinsic parity so that's all for this lecture